if I gave you one jerry can of a dark smelly substance called oil it may not profit you so much until you go and pass it through a process that now distills everything and you can now get your fuel as we call it your gas and get other things byproducts from it many believers number one do not even know the provisions and the resources that are available and for those who know it just stops at knowing do you know healing is yours yes do you know abundance is yours yes do you know increase is yours yes do you know restoration is yours yes have you experienced it no why the problem is the knowledge of the technology that converts those realities man of god you need to hear this if not you'll be frustrated in ministry businessman you need to hear this if not you'll be frustrated when you go to the place where they make cars all you are going to see is an architectural design a 3d representation of that car and all the metallic resources that will put that car together but you step out and give the people a few days a few months and you will come back and find a real car that you can enter and drive a real car it was not a car they found under the earth they found metals but they were able to combine it in a way that produced cars now with such beauty and elegance imagine what can happen to your life when you know how to convert these spiritual resources your life will become a wonder first to you and any other person who cares to see and may that be your testimony by this revelation let ashes and shame and everything that has mocked god let it fade out of your life and destiny in the name of jesus christ some of you will rise from this understanding and build mighty ministries for jesus mighty evangelical platforms for jesus mighty businesses with transcontinental value based on the things you are receiving it's true it's true it's the realm of your glory it's the realm of your grace i can see your mighty power moving in this place it's the realm of your glory it's the realm of your grace i can see your mighty power moving in this place we're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings and like the voice of many waters I can hear the angels sing you are holy you are holy you are holy so the ability to not only know that there are spiritual resources in a dimension that is greater than science a dimension greater than the three-dimensional realm and the ability to interact with that realm with such mastery that you can convert and bring to your domain all the resources that are available and needed for your profiting they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Imagine the many things that God has kept for you that you do not know. Strategic relationships, but first in the spirit. Strategic help, but first in the spirit. Men and women raised by God to help you while you serve him, but that reality is still in the spirit. Advancement, restoration, 
These are all possibilities and realities, but that they are locked up. They reside in the spirit. Everything needed for your excelling as a believer is already provided for. This is a fact you have to train your spirit man and your mind to believe. All things. All things. The Bible says all things are yours. Contend for light. Contend for knowledge. This is why you came to church. Now you are hearing. Apostle, are you saying that the cure for my rent issue is already in the spirit? Yes, sir. Are you saying that I can walk free of this sickness? That the provision, the spiritual resources that can translate to a new body part, the spiritual resources that can translate to health, they are not coming. They are already a reality there. Every one naira, one dollar you will ever have and make in this life, the reality of those resources are already in the realm of the spirit. Believe me. Do you believe this? Contend for light. Light beyond the realm of ignorance. Convince yourself by the Spirit of God. The entrance of His Word brings light. What you are hearing now is giving you confidence. It's killing away carnality. So Satan will tell you, if it is true, where is the anointing man of God? Prove that you are anointed by laying hands on someone. Nothing happens. Don't worry. The problem is not the presence of that reality or, or, or the, the falsehood of what you believe. No, what you believe is the truth. It's just that you have not mastered how to convert it. When Jesus, as the word, became Jesus, the child, the baby, he was seen of men. He was seen of angels. You didn't need to be prophetic to see him. Once you were alive, you could see the baby wrapped up in a manger. They saw him as a teenager. They saw him when he grew to become an adult. Invisible things can become visible. Invisible resources can be transported to become a system of advantage to the believer. And I'm praying for you. Everything God has placed in the realm of the spirit that is needed for your destiny actualization. But through ignorance, it's been waiting there for years. May you sustain the intelligence to make it manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sit down please. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3. Let's read NIV or the message translation. The Bible says, through faith, can we have any, okay. It says, by faith we understand, watch this, that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. Can we have the message? Is that possible? MSG. It says, by faith, we see the world called into existence by God's word. What we see created by what we do not see. What we do not see is what created what we see. Did you get that now? What we do not see, the invisible realm, is what created this realm. This thing you call anointing, do you see it? Show me anointing. Are you going to lift a bottle of... Um, um, O olive oil and show me is that anointing does a tree produce anointing no the anointing can only be trapped in a material vessel like a mantle or whatever but where is that anointing when the bible says god anointed solomon where did it come from can you show me the remains of what fell on him yet you could not deny the effect it fell on a physical man he grew up and demonstrated intelligence are we together now? The things which appear, the crowds which appear, the resources which appear, the influence which appear, they are only a manifestation of realities that are available. Are we together now? And that if you know how to transport those realities, then you will live an invincible life of dominion even in your world today. When you lay hands on a sick person, you're not rubbing anything on your hands. What flows through you 
to that sick person when you stretch your hands towards someone and he receives an impartation where is the connection what actually flows from where invisible resources but their reality can be proven in this realm here and now when you speak to men and say in the name of jesus may god open the door can you show me the words where are the words can you hold it so why do you lift your hands to say i receive what are you receiving? Did you feel anything when you received? Yet you believe something rested on you. And you go out carrying that consciousness. And you return back rejoicing. Knowing sometimes the impact is so dramatic. That even your physical stature cannot hold the weight of what rests on you. Yes, it is invisible. These are transactions happening. Listen. They are spiritual transactions. You cannot see it. And yet your body attests to the fact that something is happening. How about the fire you feel? How about the warmth? The movement of the anointing in your body while the word is coming. Burning within your spirit like it did to the men at, um, at Emmaus. What is responsible for it? You think it's just sounds? Can a speaker make you that convicted? Can a mic make you that convicted? I'm just telling you that there are realities. You are here seated now. All you see is not all that is happening. If I ask you to describe all that is happening, you will say, I am listening to a man preaching. That is almost one over a hundred. There are many things happening. God is removing things. God is returning things. The Spirit of God is walking through angelic ministries, walking on the minds of people, just because you cannot see it. Are we together? As these words are coming, listen, the Lord is spreading these words by his spirit to people so that what is leaving me is not the same thing resting on you. There are things being added on that rest on others. That is why you will be hearing different things even though it's the same person communicating. The realm of the spirit. The wealth of resources. So when God speaks to you, he speaks with the consciousness of the vast resources that are available to back you. Whether you are aware of it or not. See that now. Now if I ask you a question, assuming you are a multi-millionaire, and I ask you, are you a millionaire? You say yes. If I say, where is the money? You say it's in the bank. Which bank and where is it? You are as confident, yet the money is not with you. But you are confident that I know that I have one million naira or one million dollars or whatever in the bank. You can beat your chest and say, I know I am a rich man. And have no pressure to prove it at all. You may put your hands in your pocket and bring out nothing. And yet nobody can dare tell you you are poor. So why do believers walk as though they are helpless? Simply because you touched your pocket and there was nothing physical there. Or your physical phone showed you zero zero naira and you use that to describe yourself and heaven is saying I, you are wasting potentials here you do not understand the vast resources so god helps you by coming to the your dream life and showing you certain things that are available you wake up and say it's a lie god can, can is joking with me everything you see manifest in the life of the believer comes from somewhere I want you to pay attention i'm stimulating your creativity because the keys that i'm about to show you now it will change your life forever i tell you some of you will leave this place without any car without anything and yet you'll be jumping like a madman after this service because you will know that you have learned something you have closed a door that satan uses to discourage you and lie to you Apostle, where are the members? They are first in the realm of the spirit. You are not able to see them there. That's why you will never see them physically. Where is the house? Where is the level in the spirit? Let me tell you the truth. Anything that ever manifests is because it found its parallel in the spirit. If it cannot find it there, it cannot be made manifest. Including trouble. All kinds of troubles 
have their spiritual form they can be pulled down from the realm of the spirit by the manipulation of spiritual laws courtesy demons and be made manifest so men are manipulated mentally to act in a certain way that allows those laws to work against you you call it tragedy you call it all kinds of things but there is an intelligent explanation to those things show us the ancient path lead us along eternal highway let me add one more prayer line a prayer point i want you to pray with all your heart and say father let my life produce results cry it before god please don't be too proud to play this to pray this prayer pray with all your heart you know that your life is not producing the result you desire don't come to god's presence and argue god's presence is not a football cinema where you come and argue and say oh god i'm coming to see if what you are saying agrees with what i know that that is nonsense pray and say god my life must command results this thing can work it was designed to produce in my life i'm not a barren soil open my eyes let this thing work in my life let it work in my ministry god let it work in my family please pray inside outside online pray pour your heart into this prayer pour your heart into this prayer lord i've been listening to this thing for 10 years and it seems there is a blockage from hell stopping me wherever i want to understand something comes and distracts me my life is paying for it show me this thing make it plain unto me oh god for the sake of my children make it plain unto me for the sake of the ministry you have given me make it plain unto me for the sake of the assignment you have given me make it plain unto me for the sake of your glory i've been around it but i take responsibility lord i've not understood how this thing works show it to me afresh show it to me afresh i've even bought it i've written books about it but open my eyes i am willing to see i'm not a rebel Keep praying. Keep praying. Please engage your heart. Don't play games with your destiny. Engage your heart. For the sake of those who are depending on you. You may be the only one in your family having this access. Don't trivialize it. The salvation of many are tied to your understanding this thing. You've got to pray seriously. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, I want you to sit quietly tonight and listen to me with all humility and with all your heart. Please. You see, when you see me talk like this from the depth of my heart, I wish that God can open my heart for you to see it. Are we together now? It is because I know that no matter how sincere you are, sincerity is not the seed for what you are looking for. Praise the Lord. You have served God with all your heart. Let Him show us something that will help our lives. Let Him show us something that we will use and wipe the tears of nations. But when we are careless, you see, God, God is a very meticulous God. When He comes to you, He does not cast His spell before swine. Just that His presence is there does not mean you will be changed automatically. He discerns the state of your heart. 
when you come with an arrogant philosophical heart let me see what he has maybe there are one or two things god can add to me that attitude robs you of the fullness of what god can give you matter matter you are worried and upset about many things he said one thing is needful he didn't say to listen he said to sit it's a sign of rest concentrate pay attention when they were about to see a miracle he said tell all of them to stop all this running around sit down by 50s if you are too proud to sit down there's no bread for you you don't eat the bread standing while the bread is coming you are busy doing other things see let me tell you something i promise you in the name of the lord if you pay attention to what i'm teaching you your life will step into a state of rest you will find out that most of this running around is because we do not know the keys a door does not open to any key that you are holding a key does not mean that's the key that opens the door life was not designed to be the way many people are taking we run helter skelter and we think because we are running helter skelter that's where it is we've been trained conditioned by an environment but god is saying this is wrong sit down listen sister brother just listen at least listen by the time the message is over you can now choose to receive it or not but give it a chance to may my god spirit. send true gifts to your life may my god send good people to your ministry to your business to your organization in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for you one more time maybe to a preacher who has been badly wounded betrayed by the people around you maybe some parents you have trusted people and they went to your back and caused you pain your heart is bleeding right now you've lost money you've lost trust you shared secrets about your life with people and they made a shipwreck of your destiny as a consolation may my god send true gifts to your life may my god send good people to your ministry to your business to your organization in the name of jesus christ and final destiny defining principle that i want you to learn tonight is this define the most important things in your life not everything is worth dying for define the most important things in your life and i will guide you not everything is worth dying for please don't kill yourself unnecessarily there are things that are not worth dying for eighth principle define the most important things in your life not everything is worth dying for there are people who have died today if they have the opportunity to come back they will smack themselves at the cheek and say it was not worth it i can tell you everything in life does not hold equal value you will never rise to the state of an overcomer and you would have wasted the lesson from your your discussion with an overcomer if you do not know this all great people all champions in the spirit in ministry in organizations and in life they know some of them have learned from their many years of pain that not everything in life is worth dying for i have studied the subject of fulfillment myself and i have taught you a few teachings around fulfillment i refer you to two of my teachings one what seekest thou number two the law of seasons but in my studying the subject of success and fulfillment i found out at the end of my study and gleaning from the wisdom of fathers and champions indeed that there are only three things that are worth dying for the most important thing in your life is defined as what you can die for not what you are living for the most important things in your life are defined not just because you are living for them but that you can die for them anything you cannot die for is not that important don't let it give you heart attack there are people today carrying self-inflicted health health concerns because they have put themselves 
in positions where they do not they have not defined the most important things can i share with you my perspective about the three most important things in your life number one your relationship with jesus this is the first thing that is worth dying for not just living for it is worth dying for if you can only live for jesus you are not serious genuine love is demonstrated in the ability to both live and if need be die for a cause your relationship with jesus mark chapter 8 35 to 37 at the center of it all it's you that i see it's you that i see at the center of it all it's you that i see it's you that i see give us a scripture mark 8 35 for whatsoever whosoever will save his life is that in your bible he shall lose it but whatsoever shall lose whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels the same shall save it reading to 37 for what shall it profit a man the bible says if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul ladies and gentlemen your relationship with jesus is the guarantee of your eternal destiny it should be the most important thing in your life it's not a preacher's manipulation no 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 i don't care what you have i don't care what you do well in if jesus is not at the epicenter of your life you have not defined your priorities right number two what is the second thing worth dying for your family both biological and spiritual family is worth dying for when job lost everything in his life the only thing that was left was family business could not stand the test of time reputation could not stand the test of time assets as we call them could not stand the test of time at the end of his life, only one woman stood by his side. And even that woman stood there in her pain. And she said, why do you hold on to your integrity? Job, you're my husband, but curse God and die. But at least she stood by him. Can I tell you? Respect those who can see all your limitations and still love you for who you are. Not everybody has that patience. If you do not respect those who have seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, and still love you the way you are, you are making a big mistake. Worth dying for, Jesus and the gospel. Worth dying for, family. Now, I know that a lot of people say all kinds of things about church, and they are largely right. Oh, church is full of hypocrites. Church is full of this. But can I tell you, the safest place you can ever be spiritually is the house of God. In the midst of all of all these stories here and there, you will still find people who love you in church. You will still find those who will cry with you in church. If you think I'm joking, lose a loved one or let something happen. And that's when you will know that many people are selfish. It is in church you will find someone who does not know you, but just seeing you cry, can come to you and say what is the matter can i help you don't get used to wicked people and think everyone is wicked in church there are good people there are all kinds of vessels vessels of clay vessels of wood vessels of silver and vessels of gold many years ago i made a commitment with my life that aside being a man of god one of my greatest goal in life is to be a shoulder for as many wounded people beyond being a man of god my greatest testimony is not just that I, I was or i am a great man of god but that someone i'm not called to solve everybody's problem but the the much that i can do not little 
the much that I can do if I can use my life to wipe somebody's tears it may not be the best but it was not the worst you see we're not called to do everything when it has to do with being there for people you don't need ordination you don't need education you just need a good heart there are things you will need qualification to do showing love and kindness is not one of those educated or otherwise you can show love and kindness are we together wealthy or otherwise you can show love or kindness when it has to do with love and kindness gender does not necessarily matter age may not matter our world is full of bleeding people bleeding preachers i once saw a photo i think it was on youtube or so i can't remember what i was looking for and then i saw i think it was a, a, a graphic representation of something and a man who was holding on to his small son shielding the son from some something or so and there were all kinds of arrows on that man i said how true some of you never know what men of god go through the stress the pain the internal crisis having their own issues that they have to throw away this is true for preachers this is true for leaders and most times the church sometimes can be full of very ungrateful people they do not know that every sermon you hear comes from a standpoint of blood tears and sacrifice how about leaders you come to your workplace and you see ideas that keep scaling that organization not knowing that someone lost sleep for that idea to come about i'm praying for you that you will train your spirit to respect greatness when you see it there is no gift of greatness in the bible greatness is a cumulative of this journey hallelujah a gentleman went to steal recently in my house he got charm from zaria city tied it got charm tied it they still caught him can you imagine why koinonia was going on he was trying to steal they still caught him he shall put his angels charge over you they shall bear thee up on their wings lest you dash your feet against a stone i know you don't believe it just say oh yes yes but you must believe it and say this is true so a man looks at you and threatens you and say if both of us wake up tomorrow you must die and you say you know you will sleep too abby tell him the person boasting you are not doing night vigil you too you will be you will be sleeping for six hours you will not know what is happening where is the angel of death that swept over arrogant egypt and some people did not wake up any man playing with your life and prophesying to you is playing with death in the name of the lord jesus christ don't fear men don't let any man threaten you because of anything you threaten god's elect he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm brothers and sisters you are immune but this thing is not just hearsay please every lady lay your hands on your womb prophesy to yourself in one minute and say me and barrenness are like the east and the west we will never meet go ahead and pray there's a reason why i'm saying that lay your hands on your womb and prophesy no barrenness don't let anybody tell you oh it's because everybody is eating spaghetti now we are eating this and cancer is multiplying fibroid is multiplying cut it god is glorified in my body i have no business with barrenness this womb will carry boys and girls prophesy to yourself don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy hallelujah Brothers, lay your hands on your head and say the secrets of wealth must come upon me. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Lord, you are showing me the secrets. God is giving me a great ministry. There's much to do for the kingdom. I don't have the time to be thinking about money. No, it's a cost. I don't have the time to leave my assignment, leave everything, money, 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 money. Grant me grace to get this key and move on to do important kingdom things in my life. Can't spend 60 years of my life 
just daydreaming and being obsessed about money. Carnality over money. Show me the keys. Let me not put anybody's daughter on that trouble. Let me not raise children and punish them because of ignorance. Please pray. You will thank me for what you are doing today. Lord, I'm tired. This thing has a way. There is a way out. Show it to me. There is a way out. Oh, there is a way out. Hallelujah. Now, everyone, I want you to pray while you are seated. We'll soon stand up. But I'd like you to command every area of your life that has not been working. Don't just command it to work. Say, Lord, the secret to make it work, please show me. Even if it's something that has been taught, but my eyes have not seen, show it to me. Sato Sabalakata. My spiritual life is going down and down and down. I can't pray for 10 minutes. I've tried and tried and tried. There is a devil somewhere trying to stop me. Lord, what is the secret to a consistent? prayer life what is the secret to a consistent word like i'm tired of this not studying the word i've been lying to people that i study my bible i know i'm not studying it i don't have an appetite for god something is wrong show me the secret i pray and nothing happens i say the same thing anointed people say but nothing happens what is the key to the anointing coming into my life let me speak and let there be results for your glory pray for your health lord i'm tired i've spent over a hundred thousand on my body this year i've spent over five hundred thousand i don't even know what is wrong with me now i know you desire to be glorified in my body i'm tired of being afraid of death i'm a man of god but i fear death i'm a woman of god but i fear death i fear assaults of terrorism i fear accidents i fear the operations of witches and wizards there's something i need to know i'm tired of living in fear pray pray i'm tired of going to my village because i think i will not come back 2017. i'm tired that they may charm me oh give me access give me access give me access Access, pray. Longevity. Lord, let me be as, as confident as I am sitting on my seat to know I will live long. Let me be confident. And the secret was revealed to Daniel. And the secret was revealed to Daniel. And the secret was revealed to Daniel. Finally, pray. I must break the back of poverty. Is my agreement with God? Is my covenant with God? the fourth generation no one has prospered in my family until they serve idols i will not serve idols and i will prosper for the glory of the name of the lord i will not serve idols and i will prosper i will not bribe and i will prosper i will not cheat and i will prosper i will not play fraudulence and i will prosper there is a secret that must be shown to me I know I'm a young man, but I must prosper. Employment or no employment, recession or no recession, there is a secret. Show it to me, oh God. Now jump on your feet and pray for any other area that has refused to work. I challenge you, show me the secret. Why have I not entered a relationship, oh God? Why are men running away from me? Show it to me. 
When I gather, it scatters. When I gather, it scatters. Show me why, although I've been delivered, I'm still seeing family patterns in my life. The failures of my father's house is still reflecting in my life, although I'm praying in tongues. For the next three minutes, pray in the spirit, blast in tongues. Something must open in the heavens. Something must open. Lord, I must deliver my family. I must deliver my lineage. Tired of poverty. Tired of struggling. Tired of a resultless Christian life. Tired of a life barren of the anointing. Lord, it's not working in my life. I have to admit it this night. Pray, it's not working. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Why is it not working? I knock on the gates of heaven. I demand an explanation. Nobody is rising in my family. Nothing is working. They stab you, yet no door is open. Oh, pray, pray, don't be tired. Leke teke soto na ba 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 ba. Empretos kapras kaleke te. Shaka tapras kaleka to shakalika. Empretos sete deke te. Mambro seke teke lebo soto ba la ba la ba. Hallelujah. Sharing is my father glorified. When you bear much fruit. Listen. Listen. I want you in the next one minute to pray violently. Knock on the door that controls results. And say, Lord, for your glory. It's my, it's my turn to testify. I told you nothing happens. For everyone that has get receive it. Lord, I've never really had a testimony this year. Why is that so? No one has favored me. No door has opened. No deliverance has happened. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven. Your heart is already right with God, I know that. But I want you to agree with God and say, Lord, between now and Christmas, when we celebrate your coming, can you give me a reason to praise your name this year? I tell you if, you, if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart, you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I agree with you. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. 
strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let that take me before Christmas. I've been a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout this after me in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenly programmed a time to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life I challenge you by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray ancestral powers yokes spirit ordinances written in the heavenly Protected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God, to stop results from happening in my life. I challenge you, I challenge you, I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Let's take one more prayer point. I want us to release the ministry of angels. Listen. The Bible says, Are they not ministering spirits? Let me tell you, hear me. Angels are real. I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See, some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war a warfare until I become victorious lift your voice and pray I release their ministry release my helpers to come into my destiny release favor I release angels over Koinonia the angels assigned over Koinonia we release you by the word of God the angels assigned over God's people we release you we release you we release you we release you in the name of Jesus bring miracles bring signs bring wonders we're out of time but let's pray the Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear look at me listen let me tell you something about the spirit of fear I tell you fire is burning in this place listen fear is a dangerous spirit it stops you from taking God seriously when God speaks fear exposes you to the obvious limitations it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there 
but God's word does not explain it creates God will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say God how will it happen who do I know blessed is she that believes he said for unto her there shall be a performance fear of death listen fear of failure fear of not having the money to feed yourself do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things you are afraid before you know it you sell your phone because you want 10,000 in your pocket the 10,000 finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things people have converted and have left God because of fear in the name of Jesus I challenge the spirit of fear over my life over my family over my loved ones over koinonia I declare in the name of Jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear I refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous koinonia you pray tonight don't look around pray say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous it shall be well fear of marriage fear of children fear of terrorism them in the name of Jesus father every prophecy you spoke over my life from January till now that has not happened I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you that between now and December 25th I must receive that testimony lift your voice and pray I wrestle with prophecy I agree I agree you said you will heal my father I still believe you said you will heal my mother I still believe you said you will prosper my business prosper my ministry I still believe lift your hands I want to pray for you I'm a believer I'm a believer when you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need I pray for you in the name that is above all names first and foremost even as you have prayed I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus number two I pray for you the kind of speed that you have not seen from January to now I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That he will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart. Every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood. You look at it all the time. 
but you are you listen to the messages help them please but you have not gotten it i speak upon your spirit may an unction the unction that teaches men things i'm i'm doing an impartation upon your spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus may that light shine upon your spirit May that light, that illumination, shine upon your spirit. Any man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you. They must answer your parents. They must answer your loved ones. I pray for you finally every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact I pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night I don't care how short the time is I decree and I ask the Lord Most High to reproduce that testimony in your life May he reproduce that testimony in your life. Anyone here, hold on please, who is sick in any part of your body, any nonsense the devil has planted, whether you call it fibroid, whether you call it menstrual pain, whether you say barrenness, impotency, whether you call it migraine, SS, AS, bad dreams, witchcraft any kind of sickness right now as i stand here in the name that is above all names may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life may the fire of the holy ghost surge through help them please May the fire of the Holy Ghost, my God, I tell you, I see fire falling on people. That's what I see in the spirit. Fire. People are getting healed. May the fire of the Holy Ghost touch through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace. May the fire of the Holy Ghost touch through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS, AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body, your body must glorify God tonight. Therefore, I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. Everything that has stopped you from being productive, I prophesy to your hands. Your hands represent they are symbolic of your productivity when the hands of samson were tied he could not do anything i pray for these hands may god teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of jesus he said i am the lord that teacheth thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go may god show you the mysteries may he show you in the name of jesus Lift your voice and give Jesus praise. Get out to the gate holding these mysteries. Brothers and sisters, he said, when I prepared my seat in the street, hey, the young men saw me accessing this mystery. And the Bible says they hid themselves. They said, this guy is not a normal human being. What is he trading on that is producing these supernatural results? And the aged arose and they stood up. Do you know what it means for an elderly person to stand up before a child? Remember, as a young man, the princes refrained from talking and laid their hands on their mouth. Verse 10. The young men saw me and hid themselves. Ah, you are going back again? 
please help us the nobles held their peace and their tongue cleaved to the roof of their mouth uh -huh. when the ear heard of me it blessed me brothers and sisters this is what happens to a man who accesses this thing any man and when the eye saw me it gave witness to me next verse because I delivered the poor that cried when God was teaching me those secrets he showed me something so every time I saw the poor I didn't sympathize with them I delivered them there was something I did to the poor the fatherless and him that had none to help him uh huh the blessing of him that was ready to perish came upon me someone was about to die till I showed up I did something and he blessed me and I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy 14 I put on righteousness and it clothed me my judgment was as a robe and a diadem I was eyes to the blind and feet was I to the lame uh -huh. I was a father to the poor and the cause for which I knew not I I was humble is part of the reason why I was great every time I saw result and I did not see it in my life I didn't argue and explain it away I humbled myself like a scientist and I searched it out 18 okay 17 and I break the jaws of the wicked and pluck the spoil from his teeth that's authority brothers and sisters when I searched it out I found something that granted me access to break it in the, and then I said I shall die in my nest in peace and I shall multiply my days as the sand part of the secret something was shown to me of how a man can live a fruitful life and how I can add to my days Hezekiah did it there was something he touched that multiplied his days that means there's something you can touch that will shorten your days you are supposed to live 100 you do something it takes it to 85 some of us now have done it to 40 you better learn what takes it back learn what takes it back fast before you find out you have two more years you learn it that is in your bible please let's go back to 18 18 please right and i shall multiply my days i will do it Ah, like saying I will fry egg I will multiply my days see how we fear death yet a man was saying do you know in all of in all of Job's trouble he never talked about death in other words he knew that look look we are discussing life here it's just that this is the worst form of life but death is another law just leave that one these guys trivialized Satan they made nonsense of him our generation is so bankrupt of secrets so Satan masquerades as such a great man I always give this example have you seen someone lying somewhere saying his father is a director is a CEO just because nobody who grew up with him knew him the moment he sees you coming and you know him you say this guy why are you here you are here to bust my tire now Satan only talks when there are people with ignorance there are some of us when he sees us he will refrain because we know you are number one you are not omnipresent you are not omnipotent you are a liar you are a thief you work with people's minds if I, have, if I have a dream and I see somebody with gun wanting to shoot me and all these funny things if I get up I'm not even going to pray about it not because I'm just doing bold face I understand that Satan without the cooperation of your mindset his hands are useless if your mindset limits the word why won't it limit Satan your mindset limited the word of God how much more Satan so all, all those things are nonsense you see that revelation alone gives me sound sleep if an owl is crying in front of my, my, my window, it can cry till morning. As far as I'm concerned, you're a creature. You're a creature. Whatever spirit is in you is not recognized. When an owl starts barking, then I'll come out and check because it's unusual. But for as long as you are doing what you are doing, I will sleep. Gone are the days you come out and say, in the name of this owl, I'm tired of you. my root was spread out by the waters listen to this and the dew lay all night upon my branch 20 
my glory Shabalakataya was fresh in me and my bow the symbol of my strength and authority was renewed this is a man who gave a secret and he said the reason why this happened was that the secrets of the Lord were upon his tabernacle Daniel chapter 2 Daniel chapter 2 a king had a dream forgot the dream and the interpretation and wanted to kill everybody because he was angry and something happened Daniel chapter 2 we're reading from verse 15 we'll jump 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 I'll show you the scriptures 15 so they were they were going to kill Daniel and his you know these friends and all of that and he answered and said unto Ariok, the king's captain, Why is the decree so hasty from the king? Then Ariok made the, the thing known to Daniel. The king was angry. Anybody who cannot tell me the dream I had, I will kill him. 19. And Daniel went in. 19. 19. Then was the... Everybody say secret. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Read from verse 20. We'll continue. So Daniel went to bed and saw that secret. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever. For wisdom and might are his. Next verse. Next verse, please. Down to 22. He and he changed the times and seasons and removed kings and set up kings he gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding 22 he revealed the deep and secret things he knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him that's the God we serve and that's what he can do to men read 27 and 28 27 and 28 I'm trying to show you these scriptures listen Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said the secret which the king had demanded cannot the wise men come out find out whether you are part of these people so you just know up hand that you will never find the secret of God it's not for wise men men in their wisdom the astrologers come out the magicians come out the soothsayers all these men cannot see it show on to the king 28 but there is a god in heaven hallelujah <laughs> ah, yeah. the native doctor cannot see it oh. he will claim he can see it because he will concoct charm and a voice will speak through the pot he will manipulate your mind into believing he's in absolute control Daniel said don't mind them they can't see it he said but there is a god in heaven and it is in his character to reveal secrets he revealed secrets and made known unto the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall happen in the latter days Open my eyes, let me see. Will you open my eyes, let me see? Open my eyes, let me see. Open my eyes. is full of men and women who did ordinary things and then once and again certain strange men just appear and it's like a graph extraordinary exploits by the hand of God then you find ordinary men again then someone will show up in a generation then you find people doing whatever again and then you show up let me tell you something I have spent my life like an astrologer watching the stars I have spent my life searching out the mysteries of the kingdom since I found out that these were the things that were responsible for results I don't trust men I don't trust their philosophies 80% of the knowledge circulated in the world is useless to your life and destiny and eternity I don't trust them I don't trust the things they say in the news I go to the Word of God show me the mystery that will give me grace show me the mystery many people let me tell you before god granted me grace to walk in the anointing 
there were many people who were talking about the anointing when i looked at their lives not to condemn them i knew these guys were not they didn't get this thing but they will never understand you can meet them and ask them uh -uh, but why didn't this result happen instead of them to say well i don't know this far they say look it's because of this i didn't trust them and i went to god i said lord there must be an answer the thing i did not know i searched out i searched out lord why are some people filled with the holy ghost and others not lord why can a preacher be so anointed filled with the holy ghost yet his church never grows why is it that people can do publicity put balloons and it will never happen lord why is it that a man can serve you so much and yet be broke and worried about finances and god started referring me to his body various men and women who through their sacrifices have accessed these things though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river listen though we are few that's what i want you to hear we're surrounded by many we're surrounded by many surrounded by many surrounded by many they are all over your pride has stopped you from seeing them we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before when people tell you they have not been sick in a long time you don't believe it because you think it's a lie no 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 it's a lie when people tell you they have not been broke they will never be broke again he says it's not true you're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before you are not the first to be attacked by witches my father's mother well i don't know they, they said she was a christian i know she was an idol worshiper praise god are we together my father not my relative no, you see when you hear people talk you think they don't know witchcraft me that demons press personally it's not like the one you are not seeing anybody you are just feeling hand i saw them i they looked at me i looked at them they pressed me shouted jesus nothing happened i was still a preacher i shouted jesus shouted blood of jesus it had no effect on them but preachers told me just shout jesus something will happen i did it nothing happened the secrets of the lord there is more to that statement than just you have been shouting it nothing happened don't we have to uh, we're surrounded by many the same way the bible says they shall lay hands on the sick brothers and sisters be honest the last person you laid hands on what happened you even you you were laughing at yourself but the bible says if you do it you see when the bible tells you to do something and get results and you do it and don't get results there is more to it there is more to it the same way you see someone driving you think he's just putting gear and firing you enter and the next thing you are in the hospital because it's more than what your eyes are seeing father as i read scriptures what am i not seeing open my eyes see when you carry the bible just like a scientific book bring ye all your tithes into the house and you have been tithing but nothing has happened because all you have been doing is giving god tight see let me tell you something brothers and sisters your attitude is the tray upon which your tithe must be presented upon for to be accepted a tithe can be rejected there is an acceptable worship honor an attitude so many people stand with their envelope you look at the preacher and you are angry lift it up father in the name of jesus you just throw it inside the plate and you are angry these wicked people my tithe you they say did you tithe you say yes no you didn't tithe you brought money to church i guarantee you you just gave tithe you didn't bring you brought money to church but there is somebody who goes with understanding lord you brought this to me first i love you two i'm obedient i know you are not a liar so i bring this with understanding and you tithe 
are we together now with understanding do you know many people give there are people who come to give give here as if they are bribing they just say apostle god has blessed you and then they are putting their hands in their pocket and then they squeeze my hand and want to, i said what is this this is not a bribe if you are giving give it with understanding let me speak a word of prayer don't give as if you are bribing me i'm not looking for the money you see the attitudes we display these are the things that disqualify our giving a man preaches you want to give him honorarium you wait till he enters the car then you just look and say sorry pastor and while other people are talking you just say take 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 we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before it's time for you to start learning why these things are not working brothers and sisters have opened your eyes that there are secrets there are secrets there's a secret that brings a crowd to a ministry the secret is not publicity I, we have proven this with all humility and by the grace of God if all you want to do is publicity you will waste money on posters and flyers and balloon and everything there is a secret there's a to the miraculous it's not just shouting you know a lot of people see us shout here and then they go to their ministries they clash the symbol everybody at the count of three you're going to shout jesus one like a charm two oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. And everybody shout and they're looking around because we will do it again and then at the end they say okay don't worry you didn't fast you didn't have unbelief it's not in all those motions there is more than meets the eye are we together there are three areas I want you to contend to know the secrets. We're going to pray. Three areas. Especially in this season. God wants to be glorified through the church. Number one. Number one. The secret to accessing the presence and the anointing of God upon a man's life and upon a corporate body the secret the law that governs the manifestation of the presence of God and authentic unction upon the life of a man and upon a system you must cry and contend to know the secrets that are responsible for this number two are you ready you must find out the secret listen please very careful the secret to living in divine health and longevity write it down what is the key that governs not just divine health but longevity there's too much fear of death I began to study there are seven things that I studied in my life trusting God for the secrets but of these seven these three are the ones the Lord revealed to me and said let my people get this knowledge in these three areas I show you the key to peace especially in these times of turmoil health and longevity is there a system in God where a man can walk healthy brothers and sisters if I were pretending this thing you will know by now I can't be sick and come up here and act well. You will see it. You will know. You will know that this thing is a lie. I don't call. We have doctors all around. We've taught it here. We're a very responsible ministry. I've visited people in hospitals. But I'm saying don't be ashamed of your current understanding. But content knowing that there is a reality. If you don't believe there is a realm of health and wholeness. Do you believe that there is an anointing to heal HIV? Do you believe that the testimonies you've been hearing here that people have been healed of diseases? That means you don't believe it. Are you seeing that now? How can a man want the healing anointing and you do not believe divine health and longevity is true? It means you are a liar. You are only playing games. If I sit down on a wheelchair for a number of years, and one leg 
is not strengthened and they tell you i can stand up and then the leg will receive strength i say no 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 scientifically this is not working why should you be giving a healing anointing to stand in a stadium and command people in wheelchairs where you have not seen you see some legs they cut someone else's leg to join in the current person's leg yet you believe he can walk oh come on I'm a believer oh. I'm a believer I'm a believer when you dwell in God's presence it's easy to believe when you keep listening to junk and nonsense you will be surprised how you will not believe God because when you talk all the people who are in your area you say no no you are being fanatical but I'm again in Gaskia I'm going to give people these Christians but no 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 I am the way I am reality the truth anything that is not me is a lie I am reality longevity you need to live long listen listen do you know why many people fear death it's not because they are afraid of death in itself they are afraid because they cannot control it anything you cannot control you are afraid of you are about to travel some of you will be traveling tomorrow to various places you are sweating somebody says come and collect money in kaduna and return you say ah it's not worth it let me travel because of 40 minutes drive let me die send it through an account i will collect it somewhere i say my bank is not inside I say, no problem just do it fear i refuse to fear in the name of jesus christ i refuse to fear there is a mystery that gives men love number three wealth and prosperity kingdom wealth and prosperity you must study the secret of financial empowerment at a personal level and at a corporate level those of us who are pastors here in churches you must find out what is the key i've told you the key is not business the key is not business the key is not business business is an expression of what you know business is simply a platform that gives your understanding expression without that understanding the platform is useless the key is not business the key is an understanding a construction first in your spirit and then your understanding and then all the physical avenues are simply platforms whether job business whatever you call them do you believe what i'm sharing with you or are you still arguing it like many people will argue and say it does not work by god's grace i have paid the price to study these things in my own personal life i still am studying them but to an extent i have seen the hand of god and to an extent we have seen this even in this ministry i hate speaking sometimes because of this because people who don't understand think we are boasting and all of that no we will never beg as a ministry till jesus comes never there's no need we'll be wicked if we do so because he has been faithful too faithful too faithful our dinner is on sunday there is recession melting people down yet we are celebrating our workers and we are doing it with all gladness when we shared we looked at the budget of the dinner some of the people even the leaders some of them were a bit surprised a budget that can build house for somebody you are now using it to eat in one night that's what happens when you pay attention my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from you that's somebody's salary for many years spent in one night to tell workers thank you recession is heating hard and melting down we have never stopped transporting people we don't boast to have arrived but it's a sign that this thing works i'm saying this to encourage you that it can work brothers look at me there is this plague that is sweeping nigeria and sweeping young men young men are afraid young men that are supposed to be bold you go to school and struggle for years but you are still moving around as if you've never seen the wall of a school why because of fear fear looms many young men what will i do someone sent me a text i think it was day before yesterday that he doesn't know why he married i said what is what is the meaning of that you are sending a text you don't know why you married yet the recession has not started this thing has been prophesied by several men of god 
I say it, I, I pro- listen to the messages, I prophesied it. I told you people, those who are announcing that it's going to come and be over. I respect every, I don't condemn any man and any ministry. But brothers and sisters, I tell you the truth by the grace of God. It is not going to end. Not soon. I guarantee you. It will be worse. I have seen it with my two eyes. Like I'm seeing you. But upon them that fear my name, the son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. Therefore shall you discern between them that fear God and them that fear him not. There is a difference. Hallelujah. We we'll keep rising from glory to glory. May you never lack food to eat in your house. That you have to carry a plate to move around and beg for rice. There is a way you come out. Or that you sit down and you are saying, Ah, somebody, a devil just cheaply appears in your dream. Fires an arrow to your body and you wake up the next day. And all of a sudden, you know you are going to your grave. Let me speak to someone here. You are having dreams, dead men, dead things. You are quietly sleeping, they are feeding you in the night. Whether you want to eat or not. All those things, let me tell you. There is a place for deliverance. But the greater part of deliverance is access to understanding. You know I told you these things happened to me. Most preachers will lie to you and say it didn't happen. Most people will tell you lies and say, it happened to me, brothers and sisters. I sleep in the night, they press me. Once it's night, night, I get afraid. Do you know, it was so bad, Ejimi, I can hear people talking physically, but I can't wake up. No, I can't wake up. So you are not the first it's happening to. The day I caught the light, I ran I ran from maybe you here to BZ and I stood outside and I begged the spirit to come. I didn't cast it. I begged it to come. I cast it in Zaria. It goes to another city. When we go, I drive it from there. You play ball with the spirit. City to city. That's what light does. But many people will not get the light. And then they say, in the name of Jesus, I won't dream. You even fast as you are rounding the last fast in ignorance. Then they come. You see, the devil can make nonsense. You think I don't know. That's the experience of some of us. Three days dry. The first day, nothing happens. The second day, you say it's working. You know? And then the last day, as you are saying amen, you just drink orange and sleep. Just orange. And there they come. <laughs> they rubbish your three days fasting. So you now get up and say, Kai, this man must be using charm. This thing is not only fasting. There, there must be something. There is a key. Or you now carry your Bible and put it in your pillow. Right? Carry oil and put the sign of the cross on your head. I'm not mocking you. No, I'm, 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 not, I'm not mocking you. Anything done without revelation is nonsense. You can even play koinonia message while he's playing you are sleeping. Nothing works in itself. It is engaged. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I remember when I was studying some of the things that God has helped me know now. Do you know I arrogantly argued with some of them? Because in my little mind then I felt no, these things are not the way. When some of these generals wrote these things and I looked at them, I said, is it really this thing? It's not, it doesn't match how foolish I was. Now I look and I, I truly see that I deserve where I was. If I had known the things that I knew now, Maybe a few years earlier than I knew them. I probably would have been ten times better than I am. And that time, sadly, there were not many people around who had really gotten this case. Everybody was trying. Some of us had the privilege to be the ones leading people. And so as you were leading, you were just hoping you were right. May you walk with accuracy. Hallelujah, precious saints. Precious saint, God bless you. God bless you. In the book of Revelation, Jesus said that He is the Alpha and the Omega. I want you to realize that anything God has begun in your life, He will surely bring to an end. If He is not the Alpha of your life, He cannot be the Omega. Put Him at the beginning of your life. Bring Him into it. God first in all things. And watch Him bring to an end every sickness every unfinished project he brings them to completion everything that is looking like a barrier the lord brings an end to it 
and everything that is an impossibility in your life that has been tagged impossible that has been tagged as though it will never find expression again watch the mighty hand of the lord coming upon it he walking as the alpha he walking as the omega of your life and he bringing every terminal disease every evil report that has been sentenced and written spoken about your life either in any format the lord will definitely bring them to an end make him the alpha of your life today make him the omega of your life today and you watch how he manifests his power watch how he demonstrates his will demonstrates his his kingship authority upon your life over every situation over every unfinished project he will surely bring them to pass trust the lord and see his wonders we are assigned to this media sphere to bring balance to bring um, um, a certainty to bring the possibilities of the mind of god to your very doorstep and even as this message is getting to your heart let it not just stop there ensure through you it gets to your neighbor it gets to your family and friends it gets to every of your colleague and everyone you know simply by sharing this video to them tell them the wonders of the lord tell them not to give up tell them that jesus is still alive and he's still in the business of doing good thank you so much and god bless you love you